In this video, we will learn about best, worst and average case analysis of algorithm. So for example, I will be taking two algorithms that is linear search and binary search tree. I'll take two examples, linear search and binary search tree. So first commonly we use examples on linear search. This is common thing. I will take binary search tree also and I'll show you the time case analysis on binary search tree also. So we we'll learn about best case and best case time, worst case and worst case time, and minimum time in worst case, maximum time in worst case, and average case. So you will come to know all these things. So in this video you are going to learn these things. The first one is linear search. Linear search. Linear search. If a set of elements, list of elements are given, then when we are searching for any element in that list, then we have different search methods available like linear search and binary search. Let us see how linear search works. Here I have a list of 10 elements. And in this, I want to search for some key element. Let us say I want to search for key element 7. What is the method for searching for a key element? For looking for a key element, the linear search will start scanning the list from left hand side by checking each element at a time. So it will start checking whether this is 7, no. Go to the next element, is it 7, no. Is it 7? Is it 7? So it will be go on checking all the elements until either it finds an element. Yes, the element is found. So here is an element. So total in how many comparisons we'll get an element? That is in 6 comparisons we get an element. Suppose I am searching for a key element 20. Then let us start linear search. 20 it will check for the first element no it is not present the next one next one next one next one it will check all the elements and it finds that 20 is not present in the list so when we search in a list the search may be either successful or it may be unsuccessful so for 7 it was successful and we found it at index 5 and 20 is not found when we have checked the entire list so this is how linear search works. Now let us understand what is best case and what is best case time, what is worst case, what is worst case time, we will find out in this linear search algorithm. First, let us see what is best case, best case. In case, if you are searching for a key element which is present at first index, then it is best case. In case, the case, you may be searching for any element from the list, but if you are searching for a key element which is present at index, first index, the very beginning index, then that is best case. Searching key element present at first index this is best case then what the time it will take if I am searching for the first key element here in my example 8 is the first key element if I am searching for 8 then it will take constant time best case time is constant. I can write it as order of 1. So best case time is for n elements is order of 1. Best case time for n elements is order of 1. So here I write b of n is order of 1. Now big O omega, what is that we will see afterwards. So first I have written that function. Now worst case, 
of an algorithm, linear search algorithm. What's the worst case? When the algorithm will take maximum time. If I am searching for the key which is at the last index. Searching a key at last index. In my example, 18 is the key which is present at last index. So that is the worst case. What's the time taken for searching that key element? So I have to check for all the n elements then I can reach there. Now what is the time taken in this worst case? Worst case time is n. So worst case for n elements is n and that is order of n. So here I write worst case for n elements is order of n. So now I have best case as well as worst case times given for linear search. Now average case time. Average case is defined by all possible case time divided by number of cases. So for average case you have to find out all possible cases and the time taken in each possible case and then divided by number of cases. So this type of analysis is very difficult. It may not be possible on every algorithm. So rarely we do it. And mostly for average case, the time that we get will be similar to worst case. So that's why we prefer finding worst case time for algorithms. Average case analysis may not be possible always. Let us check for linear search. What are the cases? So let me tell you just in case if you are searching for a key present on first index, in case if you are searching for a key present at second index, or in case third index, in case fourth index, in case nth index. So these are all cases. So in case if you are searching for a key present at first index, then average time for this one it is 1. If I am searching for a key present at second index, it will take two comparisons. and third index three comparisons then so on last index n comparison total how many com cases are there n cases are there so what is this equal to this is n into n plus 1 by 2 and divided by n this is cancel and this is n plus 1 by 2 so average case time for n elements is n plus 1 by 2 All these cases and the time complexities we are finding based on number of comparisons. How many comparisons are required for finding an element? Right? So now you have best case and its time and the worst case and its time and the average case. So in average case I consider all possible cases. N elements are there and possible cases. You may be searching for first element or second element or third element, any element. So for each I have taken the time and the number of cases by n. So this is n plus 1 by 2. Now let us apply asymptotic notations on this one. See, I have told you in some video, in one video, in asymptotic notation that cases are no way related to notations. Notations are for the functions. Cases are the just a type of analysis done on algorithm. Let us see how we can apply notations. See, I have best case time as 1. Can I write this as best case is big O of n, sorry, big O of 1? Yes, I can write big O of 1. Can I write it as omega of 1? Yes. Can I write it as theta of 1? Yes. See, how, what is the function? Function is 1, constant. So when you have a function constant, this belongs to constant class. So when it directly belongs to constant class, I can use theta of 1. And even I can use upper bound and lower bound also. 
right? This we have already studied asymptotic notation. So any function greater than or equal to comes as upper bound, less than or equal to comes as a lower bound, and exactly same function that is theta. So this is theta. Now worst case, the time is n. This belongs to a class that is linear. Function is linear. Can I write this as worst case time as big O of n? Yes. Worst case of n is omega of n. Yes, I can write. Worst case of n is theta of n. Yes. I can use any of these notations. There is no fixed notation to show that this is best case, this is worst case. Best case can be written using any notation and the worst case can also be written using any notation. Right? Don't take it wrong, big O is for worst case or omega is for best case. No, it's wrong. You can use theta also for best case or worst case. You can use big O for any cases. And even for average case, I have a function n plus 1 by 2. This belongs to which class? It belongs to linear class n, n. So even that I can write it as big O, omega, or theta, right? So don't mix up with the cases. That's already I have told you. Now I have proved this one. Right? When you have a function, for a function you can use big O also, omega also, theta also. All are true. All are correct. Right? Mostly people confuse that this worst case should be big O, this is upper bound, maximum upper bound, right? lower bound, so omega, no, nothing like that. You can use any notation. Now next example is binary search tree. Here I have a binary search tree. I guess, I hope that you already know binary search tree. The purpose of binary search tree is useful for searching. The elements are organized such that for every node, all the elements smaller are on the left hand side, all the greater elements on the right hand side. So for searching, if we are searching for smaller element, we go to on left side or greater element, we go on right side. Suppose I am searching for 15, let me show you the working. If I am searching for 15, I will start from 20. Is it 15? No. 15 is smaller than this one, so go to left hand side. Is it 15? No. 15 is greater than this one. So go on right hand side. Yes, 15 is found. So what is the time taken for searching? Total how many comparisons I have done? Only 3 comparisons I have done. So the time taken is 3. So actually that is equal to the height of a tree. Height of a tree. So what is the height? We usually call it as log n. Right? Log n is the height. So around 7, seven elements I have means 8 elements. So log 8 is 3. So three comparisons are required. So the height of a tree is log n. So the time taken is log n for 15. Now let us understand what is best case and what is the best case time, worst case and worst case time. Best case is, best case is if I am searching for the element which is present in the root, best case, searching, root element in short i am writing means i am searching for the key element which is present in the root so how much time it will take for searching for that particular element just constant time if i am searching for 20 just check it in the root yes the element is found so the best case time is best case time is bn is 1 bn is 1 then what is worst case? Worst case. Worst case is searching for the element which is present in the leaf. Searching for leaf element. So what are the leaf elements in my example? 5, 15, 25 and 40. If I am searching any one of those elements then the time will be maximum. That is worst case. So what is worst case time? Worst case time depends on the height of a binary search tree. What is the height? Log n. So the worst case is log n. Worst case is log n. 
right now will not go on the average case now this is a binary search tree for the same elements i even i can have a binary search tree like this in the root i have 40 and on the left child i have 30 and on its left child 25 and on its left child 20 and its left child is 15 and 10 and 5 this is also a binary search tree this is a left skewed binary search tree this is height balanced binary search tree by using seven elements this is the minimum height that i can have this is the maximum height that can i have now what is the best case in this binary search tree best case is same for binary search tree best case is same searching for a root that one then what is worst case searching for a leaf so who is a leaf only one element searching for this one is worst case but what is the time taken depends on the height of a tree and here also it was dependent on the height of a tree and the height was log n and here the height is n height is n so it means that in worst case minimum worst case time is how much log n and maximum worst case time is how much n so i repeat the point once again i'll repeat the point once again see what is the worst case for binary search tree searching for an element present in the leaf searching for an element present in the leaf that is worst case then what is the worst case time it depends on the height of a tree leaf element will be at the last level so that depends on the height of a tree so what could be the height of a binary search tree the height of a binary search tree can be minimum as log n and maximum as n so minimum worst case time maximum worst case time usually this type of questions we find in some competitive exams so worst case means we know it is maximum how it can be minimum so it depends on the type of data structure or type of an algorithm so i have chosen a worst binary search tree in which we get minimum worst case time as well as maximum worst case time so minimum worst case time is log n maximum worst case time is n because the worst case time depends on the height of a tree i should not write log n here i should write height of a binary search tree h then what h that h can be h can be as minimum as log n as maximum as n that's it so these are the best worst case analysis for a binary search tree now this best case worst case we can write using any notation just like how i have shown in linear search i can use big o omega or theta any notation so the things that we studied here is that how is how to find best case and worst case and average case and what notation should be used we got the answer for it and sometimes minimum time in worst case maximum time in worst case means what that also I have explained you this cannot be possible on every algorithm or data structure in some situations situations it is possible so this can be raised as a question what could be the minimum time what could be the maximum time that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.